is literally vlogmas it's the first day of december so you know what we're gonna do we finna plan we finna get organized all of that so if you're interested in doing that don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into it y'all it's vlogmas and i'm so ready to get my content together i'm trying to figure out how i can do this as a full-time nurse and also a small youtuber keep up with the content that i put out and challenge myself to be consistent so if you want to do this with me get out all your things that you use to organize i have my laptop and i also have my ipad and my phone if i need anything we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. So I have a little outline of things that I had typed together to figure this out so that I can plan this the right way. Um, what you are gonna need is probably like your work schedule or your planner. I use GoodNotes for my planner and I also use Nurse Grid for my um, work schedule. So we're gonna go straight to GoodNotes for the planner. I won't show y'all too much of my business, but I'll give y'all a little clip. So let's start the share screen. So for December, I already pretty much have my schedule on here. I'm just going to double check to make sure that the dates match. So after you put your schedule together, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. So now what you're gonna do is create your intro and outro template for Vlogmas. I like to use CapCut. You can use other editing softwares like Adobe and Canva and things like that. So I'm gonna go into CapCut. Okay y'all, so we have to change settings because the Wi-Fi was not working well, but let's get back into it. So, you're gonna go to CapCut. And you can make your own template or use the templates that they have on CapCut as inspiration. But you can search Christmas Intro YouTube. And it already has like a pretty quick way for you to find it. Um, like I said, look through these for inspiration. Make your own or just customize it to what your liking and your style would be. Also think about your brand colors. What colors do you want for Vlogmas? It doesn't have to necessarily be your brand colors, but yeah, so I'm gonna look through this and figure out what I want, and then we can move on to the next thing. Another thing you can do while using these sites for inspiration is also make a folder on your laptop to organize all of these things for Vlogmas. We're going to make that folder so that it can organize all your content into one thing so that when you're editing for Vlogmas, everything goes by pretty quickly. So once you have your intro and outro template out, then you're going to think about the ideas. That's why you make your planner to set out the days that either if you work or if you're not um, if you're a full-time content creator, then you can make your work days. But if you clock in, then you want to have your calendar and your planner laid out so that you can match these things up appropriately. So for the 30 ideas, you can come up with it organically, or you can go ahead and Google things. Um, we can go to Google and we can search YouTube Vlogmas ideas or title you can even say title ideas but either or will work once you go into that google gives you everything that you need and you can also go through the images because people sometimes they are you know rushing or not putting any thought into it and you can go through things like this you can also look at these uh thumbnails for inspiration you never want your thumbnail to be like too clouded that's what i'm kind of learning but um yeah so you're gonna go through this they also pinterest is a really 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 good resource for this as well as far as ideas templates all of that and it'll be even put in a cute little layout for you so go ahead and do that um another thing you can do is use ai to help you come up with these ideas you can go to chat GPT, GPT, try it out. Basically, you fill out like a detailed, I'll give like a quick one real quick. So I'll say I am a nurse and small YouTuber that wants to 
participate in Vlogmas. Uh, so this is just something quick that you can do you can go more detailed you can also put what your channel is about what you are about and you can put it in there and then when you search it chat gpt will give you a whole list of things that you can do and you can plan your videos around this or just simply use what they gave you and um make the videos off the bat like you don't even have to make an outline um, I like to kind of plan my videos because I feel like if you plan it's easier and you don't have to try to think of something on the spot and then it's unorganized. So that's the purpose of this video so we can do it together. But yeah, so see, they gave me 7 Beauty, um, 7 Lifestyle, um, another 7 for tutorials and things like that so if you want to use these as a nurse you can i kind of already have mine together i don't want to spoil it because i want it where y'all can see it and things like that so yeah let's move on another thing you want to do is plan in advance um what you want to do for vlogmas i pretty much have an idea already because i've been planning since november but this is for people who want a quick you know on the spot um this video is good for you as well the last thing I suggest when looking for content ideas is to go to your source, which is YouTube itself, right? You want to go to YouTube. You want to search up, I guess, whatever year that you want to go for. So I'm going to do not necessarily what I'm going for, but I'll just do Vlogmas 2023. See what was popular. See what people were looking at. I see... Um, getting into the christmas spirit i see decorate with me so all of that type of stuff and you can kind of build off of what you see here you can also filter it and put this year you can also put view count you see, you can see what's the most popular. People who've got millions or up to millions of views. And see what they're doing and kind of jog some inspiration from there. Next thing we're going to do is go into music. So once you've figured out how you kind of want yours to be, I like to use SoundCloud, okay? I love SoundCloud. What I will do, um, sometimes SoundCloud goes by your recently played and they'll put a playlist of things that you kind of search for and I, I kind of just go down that rabbit hole with my vlogs when I have my vlog music. But for right now, you can search up Christmas mixes. Make sure that it doesn't sound similar to songs that are already out. You can have like a little bit of a detail of a song, like say Mariah Carey, like a Christmas song that she has, right? You want to, you're gonna know that it's Mariah Carey, but you don't want YouTube's generator to pick up that it's that, so you want to kind of make sure that it's mixed really well. <laughs> maybe slow down, maybe sped up, or even her singing, but the background music is like a completely different song. That's what you want to look out for. That's what's gonna help you speed up, kind of already knowing the song. Or another thing I would suggest that I do, I like to basically go to CapCut. And I would have, so first I would have my SoundCloud um, application out. Then I'll have a, a SoundCloud to MP3 um, generator right here, right? Then I would split my page like this and go ahead into CapCut. And I will have an empty blank project. And we can really, this is just like a little quick little thing, a little quick tip. Oh, it's not going to. I will have cap cut out and then I will have or whatever edit, editing software that you use and I will have SoundCloud and the SoundCloud downloader whatever you use you can replace those terms and I would basically see here listen to the music whatever the case may be this probably won't be something that I use <laughs> 
So you want to kind of look through that. See if you like it. I will copy the link. I will paste it. Let it down low. And then I will put it on this, this file here. This side of the, on my CapCut video, right? As many as you want to do, figure it out. After that, this only works if you have a second YouTube channel. So I would basically compile those songs together. And then on my second YouTube channel that I don't care anything about, I will upload that link i mean that video of just straight music and let youtube run its generators for copywriting and see what clips of the songs do not work or they get flagged right so and this is if you this is uh it's kind of tedious but it's very helpful that one little investment of you taking that time to cut out that the songs that don't work can help you in the long run because whenever you go to edit your vlogmas uh, videos you have music already ready granted youtube they fine-tune their things or their um generators over time so maybe one day or maybe not it might not get flagged whatever but for right now you can use what you have and go ahead and you can use youtube's generator to basically find songs that work for you so um say you have 20 minutes of music and there's five different songs that you grab from your soundcloud or whatever music app you want to use whatever one is flagged it's going to tell you when you upload it's going to say copyright issue and it's going to put the time stamps of which ones work and which ones don't and all you have to do is go back to your cap cut and delete it or make a little note whatever you want to do and then after that you'll literally have your whole compilation or compiled or whatever your whole pile of music on one video and then if you want to you can just keep cutting from there and save it or just add all the separate songs into the folder on your um laptop so that's a good little tip that i gave y'all um i like to do that i don't know if it's an easier way but for right now like i said i'm learning and those are the things that i have learned for music for me personally i like to use soundcloud thematic and maybe even tiktok and um the only reason why i say for tiktok is for something like intros where it's just like a 10 to 15 second clip or for my 60 to one minute short form content videos like tiktoks or um uh, youtube shorts so those are my three things that i kind of populate to get my music but for vlogmas this year you're gonna want to pile up at least 20 to 40 songs in that folder that you're making for vlogmas and you're going to save it the reason why my lowest number is 20 is because sometimes with vlogs sometimes with vlogs you can get away with repeating certain songs for certain things like if you're doing a be real or whatever a short fast clip and you use the same song throughout um your vlog for the short clips it doesn't matter but if you're doing like a chit chat or you're doing like a tutorial or you're filming you shopping and you're talking you want to kind of switch up the music um throughout the vlog but yeah so 20 at the minimal and 40 at the maximum is 25 videos um it should that should really help you that's a good little mix of songs and you're gonna put that in that folder as well and you can even organize it folders within the folder if you want to get real picky with it but yeah so um that'll be the end of my video i pretty much have everything that i need put together i gave y'all some tips and tricks on things that i personally use and have found um yeah so thank you for tuning into my video and if you want to stay for the prayer you can we're gonna pray over this vlog this season and i pray consistency over everybody Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you have given us. Please forgive us for our sins. I pray this Vlogmas season that we enjoy our families and that we work hard. I pray that we don't lose our um, intent and our motivation for Vlogmas and neglect our families. I pray that these videos that we put in, it reflects our love for you and it also reflects our love for our families. I pray consistency and safety over any videos that these um, beautiful people decide to put out and yeah um emphasis on consistency and putting you first god thank you for everything you have given us in jesus name amen so yeah let's stay consistent let's challenge
challenge ourselves and let's get to it. I pray and hope that this video helped you with planning for Vlogmas. This is day one. So if you haven't started already, today is the day. It's 24 days after this. So thank you for tuning into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if any of my tips helped you. And put down some tips below of things that could help other people. And I'll see y'all in the next video tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>